my career has been in arts and culture. So certainly from an economic standpoint, um, tourism I think is the second largest asset to visit uh, these wonderful arts and cultural sites. Um, and letting people beyond um, uh, Doylestown know of uh, you know what a special place this museum and this area of, uh, of committed to uh, making sure that the state in, is, stays involved in funding places like this. Um, we tried, we spread a little bit of money a long way, but um, it's important that the state recognizes our um, cultural and heritage sites. And so even though it's a small amount of money, uh, it's important for museums to have that state support because it's used to leverage private cultural organizations, symphonies, art museums, historic sites, all add to that really important um, sense of community, of vibrancy, of uh, exciting activities, and, and that's where people want to live. So um, that's where companies want to locate their businesses. So. Um, it, this particular area, the Doylestown area, and all that it has to offer um, is, is really important to the overall economy of our state. One of the last things I saw was a little family education center. And uh, they have wonderful boxes that um, are, can be accessed by children to learn about different aspects of the museum. And, you know, of course, arts and education is so key in, uh, in the, a well-rounded child. And, uh, you know, there's countless studies of, of what studying the arts does and the connection between arts and math and science and music. And so um, to have an opportunity to be able to sit down quietly with your child and pull one of those art boxes out and talk to them uh, on their level and encourage them to make their own art I think is a, a real asset, and, um, and how very sad. <laughs> 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 <Is there? laughs>